And then I'm also going to record to uh, live on Facebook. So give me a minute. That's what I'm doing. Got to got to find the Facebook group. Live stream on Facebook. Computers being a little slow today. Okay, and I'm going to share to a group. And the group that I share to is the consultant group. Okay, that's the one I share to. And then I just put the recording in the other one. And you guys, we get a lot of people that watch our recording. So hold on, let me find it. It is Vicki's Jaffra Consultants right here. Here we go. We're going to go live. And then I'm going to go back to Zoom. So we welcome everybody here this morning. So glad that you could be with us. Um, everybody, we're all, we're connected now. We're connected. So welcome to our Saturday morning, the week before Thanksgiving. We, at this moment, we're not doing a meeting next Saturday. Uh, because it is Thanksgiving weekend. So I, I don't, everybody's kind of told me not to. So, all right. I want to welcome everybody that's here. We have Delan. She's our co-host and she's also our guest speaker for today. And Bronwyn, of course, is uh, another star <laughs> and she's here weekly with us with the November deals. And I think we're kind of going to be ending the deals. If we don't do next week, we're going to be going into the December uh, brochure then the first week of December. And today I'm going to be also a guest speaker, okay, because I'm going to be talking to you about Javra Open Houses. And then I'm also going to be talking to you about Canva and how you can use Canva to make your Christmas brighter. I mean, really, the holidays without Canva. You can't do holidays without Canva. You'll see. You'll see. We're going to talk about that. So I want to welcome everybody here. We have Linda McLaughlin, who is um, on the East Coast today. She's in New Hampshire. Uh, we have Delan, who is uh, from Salt Lake City area, Bronwyn, who is from Southern California, and Doris is joining us from Hawaii. So she's on vacation there, and she got up early to be with us. So we're really glad that she, that Doris Martin could be with us. Okay, so uh, let's see. We're going to begin, but I'm going to have Linda share with you a little bit about what she's up to. Go ahead, Linda. Okay. Um, I took the um 12 days of christmas that jackie had posted uh, i think her and evelyn did them and transferred it into canva scheduled posts um in my facebook group to be posted from yesterday through wednesday so there's like two two posts per day and spaced them out during the day um so I have that coming through Wednesday, and then I already have Canva slides ready um, to update with any specials that Jaffa gives us um, to post uh, Thanksgiving through Giving Tuesday. And this is on your Facebook business page, right? My group page and my business page. <coughs> okay, your yes. Facebook group page and your <coughs> business yep. page. Okay, so Linda, what else are you up to with your party, well, first party? online party you remember oh, you did a one. testing zuba zuba oh i tested yes i did uh i had to work through i wasn't real comfortable with everything that i was doing because it was my first time um but it went smoothly my scheduling was off on the first day of course uh, because you got to schedule backwards each day for the times that what slide you want posted first um so, you know, there was, a, there was some interaction. Um, my daughter got in there and was raving about the uh, olive collection uh, and how much she loves it. Uh, but that was it. So I, I've got to get scheduling another one of those. Um, yeah, she did it with a safe group. But she's yeah. taking, she's oh. on Lori Alley's uh, Zuba group. Okay. And yeah. all of you can join that free. And what we do is we are learning how to do parties using the Zuba platform. Mm -hmm. So we're yes. not using the Facebook platform because we feel like that Facebook is so invasive on what you can do and what you can't do and all that. So um, Linda's with me. I'm taking that also, but um, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. We're working with Lori and uh, Zuba, you do have to pay uh, a monthly fee for that. But you can sign up for a couple of, for I think for the first month free, but it kind of like is a different platform 
and uh, mm -hmm. Linda's far ahead of me. So I'm going to yeah. tell you, she's far ahead of me. But okay, so for those of you that are coming in, we want to welcome you, Marilyn Blacker. I see that she's just come in. We thank you for joining us today. But Linda, I am extremely proud of you. And I, uh, yeah. I really admire what you're doing and you're setting the example for me. So thank you so much. Okay. We're networking more. Thank you so yeah. much. Okay, so let's well. begin our meeting today. I'm going to share my screen. Oh, we don't have Daryl Lee and I'm surprised she's not she here. She is. Oh, she's she here. Oh, I didn't make her a co-host. So wait a minute, let's stop my share. And Daryl Lee talk so I can find you. Oh, here we I'm are. I'm right here. Okay. Blocked out. Not yeah. blacked out. All right. <laughs> but I wanna let me here we go. Make you a co-host. There you go. Thank you so much. All right, so there we go. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen. And uh, this always confuses me, this part. All right, let's see. Let's go back here. We're going, I am going into Canva because that's where I have it posted. So come on, Canva, come up. Here we are. Can you see my screen? Yes. Oh, good. That's very important that you see the screen. <laughs> it's not fun if I'm watching and doing this and you're not with me. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go into so. Saturday meeting, November the 20th. Okay, and then I like to make this big so you can see it. All right, can everybody see our presentation for the day? All right, I'm going to remind you all that I just went over this, but I just remind you again to join a WhatsApp team if you haven't okay we have leaders whatsapp team and we have consultants whatsapp team so all you have to do is look at the post in the chat today and you will get a um a, a little invitation for you to just to go right in to my uh, join my whatsapp team and while you're there also join the if you're a consultant you can join the purple and golden team with evelyn and vicky and if you're a leader, you, of course, are already on Jackie's team. Also, I want to remind you that all of our meetings and recordings and, oh, messages from Jackie. Oh, my gosh, there's so much on my YouTube channel. So go to YouTube.com and then put in Vicki Hacking. So we just want to remind you to stay connected because that's what Jaffa is all about. You need to stay connected so we can network with each other, okay? Then again, Beauties Insiders, Jaffra Beauty Insiders. If you do not go to that at least two or three times a week just to see what's being posted there, see what recordings maybe you have missed because they do uh, two meetings a week, all kinds of things are there. It's really important, no matter if you're a leader or a consultant, that you connect every week with Jaffra Beauty Insiders. I wanna remind you, all working towards the beautiful poncho, Jaffra has it. I'm going to tell you guys, it's very warm and very snuggly. It's got a hood on it. But the main thing is it's got Jaffra on it. So that means no matter where you go, you put that baby on, you are advertising your business. What's a Jaffra? And of course, I'll show you the bee, my bee sunglasses. Remind me at the end of the meeting to show you. Because if you put that poncho on, you put my bee sunglasses on that you get on Amazon. I promise you, people are going to comment on your glasses or they're going to say what's a jaffra i mean you gotta you you gotta promote yourself okay and of course my favorite thing is the uh, one with the keychain and the pin so the pin can go right on the jaffra poncho but it's magnetized which i really like the ease of wearing it congratulations to all of you You're on your way to earning this elegant purse and i've told you before the purse is very very classy it's it's just made quality. I mean, it made it's made like a coach bag. It really it's made out of the same kind of materials that coach makes her their their purses. But this one is extremely large. Okay. So it's perfect for traveling. It's perfect to maybe leave in the trunk of your car when you go shopping because it's would fill a lot of things. So I just want you to know it is large and it is what I call classy. Okay, now next thing we want to land Jensen to take over. So I'm going to stop the share and give it to Delan. And I'm going to start my share. What do you have for us today, Delan? I've got for you. Let me see if I can get this to go up. Can, can you see my screen? We can. 
Good. You're supposed to. <laughs> yeah, we can see your PowerPoint too. Okay, that's what good. Okay, so what I'm talking about large. here. Make it large because I know how you know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. So you're gonna have to train me. Oh. All right, sorry. Gotta do this. I forgot was you know, something I'm gonna skip, but is that bigger? Yeah. Bigger's better. Bigger's okay, so we're gonna talk about um a little bit about self-care and how it works. And I'm thinking everybody needs a little bit of self-care. And so this is from Andre Lord, and he said, I have come to believe that caring for myself is not self-indulgent. Caring for myself is an act of survival. So you have to remember when you care for yourself, a lot of times we think that um, when we care for ourselves, we're being a little bit selfish, but you know what? It's just an act of survival. I mean, there's a you know, you can go overboard and do care for yourself too much, but you do have to care for yourself because if you don't care for yourself, who's going to care for you? If you're there, you care for everyone else and you take care of them, they depend on you and you don't feel so well or you're not doing so good. Guess what? They're out in the, you need to take care of you because they're depending on you. And so self-care makes sense. Yeah. So when I'm going to talk a little bit about self-care on this one, it's talking about journaling and self-care. So the journaling, did you, does everybody know who the Netflix Funicello is, right? Yeah, okay. So what happens with Annette Funicello? She said, she said that life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. Now she was in the um, Mouseketeers, Miska Muska Mouseketeers, whatever they are. She was in this, and do you know she was the number one person in there? However, a lot of people do not know this, that Walt Disney and her did not get along at all. He did not like her whatsoever. He wanted to boot her off of the show, and it just was like, whoa. She, and because of her popularity, he could not. So there was always a battle or a maybe a personal conflict between the two, always, always, always. And this is what she said, life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. So even though everything not was going perfect for her, it was wonderful because she was enjoying her life as it was. So if we take, you can go back and look at, look up Annette Funicello and see what happened to, she had a lot of things going on. She was in a lot of movies afterwards too. She's always a clean cut girl. And so she did not have the most perfect life, but it was wonderful to her. She made the best of what she had. So I'm trying to get to the next one here. It's not letting me move. <laughs> I'm stuck on the screen. I don't know why it's not moving. It's so, oh, there it is. Yay. Okay. No, oh, it's taking it. It's so slow. Yeah, it's your internet. There, yeah, they're sorry. Maybe I'll put the hearts. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is journaling. So journaling, a lot of times people don't realize that journaling is a term coined for the practice of keeping a diary or a journal that explores thoughts and feelings surrounding the events of one's life. So in the chat would, does let me know if you journal, Vicki, will you check this out when people are talking there? Let me know if you journal, if you take some kind of a journal. Kind of a journal. Same, thing, Same thing, you thing you don't have to talk, talk about. about. Everything, Everything, Emily, can, Emily, you, can you mute yourself? Mute yourself? Now, hold on, now, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So questions. journaling again yeah. is something that they have found, and I'll get a little more into that, that is very soothing and calming. So again, just in the chat, mention if you journal some kind, it doesn't matter if you journal daily, if you journal, it can be with pictures. I knew a lady that was journaling when I was on one of my trips. She didn't write, she drew pictures and of what she saw. She was an artist. I can't draw, I just, anyway, but I would have to write. So it's feelings and surrounding the events of one's life. So journaling more than a diary. 
Hey, journaling is one of the easiest, most powerful ways to accelerate your personal development. So did anybody know that journaling would help you with your personal development? This is interesting. So by what happens is by getting your thoughts out of your head and putting them down in writing, you gain insights that you would probably never, ever see. So you write it down and you're thinking, okay, you just write down and I'll come up and I'll say, oh yeah. And then you can go back and look at those and say, oh, I didn't know that. But then, oh yeah, it sparks a light. So the journaling puts insights that you would probably never, ever see. So journaling for, and again, journaling for stress management. So paying attention to the inside of yourself for the purpose of a well-being as it comes outside. And that's by uh, Lee Wise. So he's saying that once you journal it, you put it in, it's in there and you bring it outside. So it makes it better. So journaling as a stress management and self-exploration tool is not the same as simply recording what happened happening in one's life. So there's a, actually a difference. My mom used to journal every single day, but she would journal the weather and we could always find out what the weather was a year ago to this date. Hey mom, was it snowing last year at this time? And she could tell us because she had journaled everything. So that's what she would do. So to be most helpful, one must write in detail about the feelings and the cognitions that are related to the stressful moments or events as you would discuss them in the therapy. So this is kind of like a therapy session for yourself. I did some journaling when I had some really pretty stressful stuff in my life. I mean, I had some, I even had dreams about this and I would journal my dreams and what it did. And I could go back and I, oh yeah, I can see what happened. I could see where that was going. So it was like a therapy for me as I was journaling the stress in my life. The more stressful I was, it seemed, it seemed as if I journaled more. Don't know why, it just was how it was. So the health benefits of journaling have been scientifically proven. It's pretty interesting. So journaling improves the cognitive functioning and counteracts many of the negative effects of stress. I believe that's because it comes out and you're not internalizing and let it just fester and get all crazy inside there. So it improves that cognitive functioning and not letting those get all fuss, get all crazy inside there. Okay, so stress release. So journaling, it reduces the scatter in your life. I know I have several different journals. I have different journals. I have one that I have like a kind of like a to-do list and that kind of keeps me together. I'm pretty scattered. So this helps unscatter my life. It reduces the scatter in my life. It brings me more stability. If I can't find my little blue book with my little whatever's I got to do, I'm in like in a panic mode. So, you know, Delan, uh, Bronwyn has said here that she has several journals. One is yes. a positive inspiration journal, and then she has a prayer journal. So oh, I love nice. that. She has, I, th I think on her prayer journal, because what I do is I like to write out prayers and I do it on my computer. And sometimes I even insert pictures. I do it in pages, which is kind of like a word program, but it just gives you, I feel like everything that you write down gives you power. In fact, I even wrote it in here that everything you write down is like self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like yes. you are giving power to whatever you write down. So if you write down, you know, even negative things, I think a lot of times it, that also could give power to it does. negativity in your life. So, but anyways, I just wanted you to know that I love what, what Bronwyn had to say, uh, a positive inspirational journal and a prayer journal. So uh, go ahead, go ahead. No, that's good. That's because I have several journals myself. I do different journals and I'm, and a lot of people do different journals. And I think that's, thank you, Bronwyn, for sharing that. That's wonderful. So it does reduce the scatter, brings stability. It offers the deeper, deeper level of learning, order, action, and release. So you get, again, you're learning from what you've done. It puts yourself in order and you can put, do action. And then it also releases that built up stress. So it processes your experience in a natural and a, an appropriate way. And again, it organizes your thoughts and your ideas. 
So it's also healing, so which is interesting. Healing. Now, how could it be healing? Valuable self therapy tools. We talked just a couple minutes before. It helps you, it's like a therapy. It gets all that pent up stress and anger out. I had a journal. I was angry for a long time. And finally, one time I just journaled. I just wrote until I was insensible. I had a red pen. I wrote it in a red notebook. And I just wrote for 16 pages on how horrible I felt and how horrible that that person had treated me and on and on and on. And by the time I got done, I, I ran out of things to say before I ran out of paper and ink. So it did help me, <laughs> help me with healing. So it re-experiences the past with today's adult mind. Sometimes anybody take a little, did anybody do a journal as a child? Just put that in the. Don't, don't, didn't we do diaries? We did diaries. Yeah. Did anybody do a diary or a journal as a child? Put that in the chat and just say, yes, I did or whatever. Yeah. So what that does, I did as a child, I wrote in the journal or a diary and I go, I've gone back and looked at those and I thought, oh my goodness gracious. Cause when I was 10 years old, I had written down, don't ask me why kids at 10, who knows what they did. I wanted long eyelashes, long fingernails, and I was going to travel the whole entire world. So these were just the three topics that I had done. Well, I don't have the long eyelashes unless I put a false eyelashes on, but it's kind of funny. It's come to fruition because now I have longer fingernails because I stopped biting them and I travel around the world. So what I wrote down is what actually come to fruition. It's really I told bizarre. You power. It gave you power. It Woo! gave me power as a 10 year old, but I don't know what happened to the eyelashes. They didn't work. <laughs> They're still a little short and stubby. <laughs> so that's the, re so I look at it as an adult mind and I see that I'm traveling. I've been, to, my goal was to be to a hundred different countries by the time I was dead. And I've been to 67 so far. So I've been, that's coming to the, so far, I just have to hurry up because of COVID kind of put a lot on that one. So it recalls and reconstitute past in, in, in um, events. I go back and I'll look at things. If you go back and you write a journal, you go, oh yeah, that was so much fun. We don't have to do it by writing. We can do it by photos, by pictures, by little sayings. It just does not have to be only by writing. It can be anything. So what's, it also detaches and let's go of the past. Once, once I wrote that journal, that 16 page with red pen, you know what? I felt like I was 25 pounds lighter because it was off my chest. It was gone. And I became the person that I was before, before all this started happening. And it strengthens my, yourself of your, your sense of yourself. So become stronger as you are, just like Vicky said. So with growth. It starts the sorting and grouping process, integrates life experiences and lessons, moves you towards wholeness and growth. It enhances self-expression, explores night dreams, daydreams, and fantasies. I did a journal too. I had another journal of my dreams and I wrote all my dreams down. It was pretty amazing because I could see my dreams were telling me as I wrote them down what to do and what was really going on in my life at that particular time kind of bizarre, but my dreams and my thoughts, my intuition was coming out and saying, hey, this is what's happening. Be aware. And I'll be darned. You know what? Those dreams are actually pretty true. And I found out what was going on. So with growth, so you start again, it just grows you. So it makes easier problem solving. It eases decision making because you have the pros and the cons. How many have ever done a pros and a con? Put that down. Just put that in the net. Go ahead, put that in the um, chat. Have you done a pro or a con? Where you say, okay, I don't know what to do. What's my pros? What's my cons? So you decide, you go back and forth. Has anybody done that? It's like, oh my gosh, I've done that myself. Have you done that, Vicki? Well, Diana Stampy has done it, but I, I don't know what you mean by pros and cons. I, I don't know what that means. Okay, so when you make a decision, you have... All the good things. Okay, you have a decision. You don't know what to do. This is all the good things about it. These are the pros. All the cons are all the bad things about it. 
So you weigh the pros against the cons. And you would put that in your journaling, right? Yeah, it's a problem and it helps problem solving. Say, mm -hmm. I have this, I do not know if I should move to Hawaii or not. What are my pros? Well, it's warm. I don't have to worry about a coat. I don't have to be cold all the time. What are the, you know, what, you know, what are the pros? What are the cons? Well, the con would be maybe I'd move all my clients. I'd have to take all my stuff. I couldn't take it all my things. It costs a lot of money. <laughs> and it costs a lot of money. Would, I, would I have to start my business? So I'd have to weigh my pros against my cons. So that helps make the decision making easier. I have to sell my house. So that's the type of thing. So pros and cons, that's helps decision. Helps thoughts, holds thoughts still so they can be changed and integrated. That's what the decision making offers new perspectives for better decisions brings things together for better understanding and it shows relationships and wholeness instead of separation. So this is what it does when you do your problem solving. You can see as you journal it and what's going on. I did have a student that I had had for 10 years prior to this. She came to me as a young gal and her kids were giving her problems. And it was one of my first years I was teaching and I said, oh my gosh, she was having having problems. We're about the same age, I guess. But she said to me, so the problem solving, she didn't know the problem that was going on because she wasn't journaling. So what happened, I just felt really bad for her because her kids were giving her such a problem. And I thought, oh man, and she wasn't doing well. She always had an excuse. So I thought, okay, she was failing the class. So I said, okay, I will give her a D minus so she doesn't fail, but she got a D minus. And then she was gone. 10 years or later or so, maybe 15, she came back and she said, well, to me, you know, she said, I can't get back in school. And I said, oh, okay. She says, because you gave me a D minus. And I thought, wait a minute. Did you know why I gave you D minus? She says, you need to change that. I said, I can't change that. But then she said to me, then she started talking about her grandkids. Guess what? The grandkids were doing exactly the same thing their kids were doing, and she was raising the grand grandkids. So the same thing that happened 15, 17 years ago is now happening with her grandkids. She didn't realize, and I stopped, and I thought, oh, my gosh, it's exactly the same thing with her kids as is her grandkids. If she would have been journaling, she could have seen the problem and probably corrected it and got things together again. Does that make sense? Yeah. She was in this rut. She never, ever got out of that problem. It was with her kids and it just transferred over into her grandkids. And sometimes if you stop and think, that's exactly what we do ourselves. We don't realize that we are in this rut and we keep doing the same thing again and again and again. And if we don't journal it or see it or say it, we don't know it. But the people around us probably know it before we do because it's repetitive, just like with this gal. It's pretty amazing how we can solve or by taking just a little fork in the road, it will change our whole entire perspective and maybe solve the problem that we didn't even know we had. Well, so this, is, this is so powerful. It really, what you're going over with this is so powerful. Great well, presentation. Okay, go on. Okay, so what happens that it's flexible and it's easy. And remember, it has no rules, messiness, typos, poor writing, it doesn't matter that I mean, maybe you're if you're drawing, and your people look like stick figures, who cares, everybody, it doesn't matter. It's all your journal. It's just flexible. And it's very, very easy. Now, again, what I just told you about the flexibility, it can be applied to any situation in life. It's quick. It's a quick way of learning or self understanding. Why does this always happen to me? If you're journalizing, and you're seeing what happens, then you go, oh, yeah, that's why. That's why I keep doing this. Well, that's why I keep getting into this rut. It's because I'm doing the same thing and I get the same result. Just like they always say, if you always do what you've always done, you've always get what you've always got. It never changes until you see that yourself and you see a quick, uh, it's a quick way to self-understanding why that happens to you. Why does that happen? It's because you're always doing what you've always done. So it caters journaling, uh, it does caters to both the left brain and the right brain people. One, they're different. They think different things. They do different things. Maybe the left brain does the creative with the pictures or maybe with the writing or, or I mean, excuse me, not the writing, the drawing, the artwork stuff. The right brain are more, are different. So it's just, they just journal, will journal different and they find things just differently. And it can be fun. 
it can be really, really fun and is playful and sometimes can even be humorous. You look at some of the things that you've done before, you go, oh yeah, this can be really, really fun. It brings things up from memory and wow, this is really fun and really flexible. It could do, I should do this more often. What's nice about this, it enhances intuition and creativity. So how could this, okay, it awakens that inner voice. It goes, hey, yeah, at first it's a little tougher. Everything at first is hard. It's a little bit harder. I mean, the first time I rode my bike, I don't know how many times I fell and crashed, but as I rode up more, it got easier and easier. And then I was able to ride without my, you know, without my hands. I could sit up, I could, you know, on my bicycle, I could ride without my hands before I couldn't even ride without the training wheels. So as I got, it wakens my inner voice and it told me and it showed me I could get better and better and better. And I broke my creativity. Not that I thinking riding without your hands is very creative, but I got better at it. So it brought things out that I didn't know I could do. It provides insights, improves sensibility, sensitivity interprets your symbols and dreams remember i told you i did about my dreams those dreams were so amazing to me and what it brought out and yes it did make a lot of sense on those dreams and it increases memory for those events maybe there is a trip that we took as jaffra and we wrote in a journal or even pictures or photos we look at those and we go, oh yeah, that memory of that event. Oh yeah, remember when we had to this? Or maybe, oh yeah, they called us in to do the timeshare. Oh yeah, oh yeah, remember that? Yeah, whatever things like this. So it just increases the memories of those events. So this is all part of journaling. So it captures your life story. Now, who do we know that wrote a book in Jaffra? It was Jan, was that Jan Iverson? Yeah, Jan Iverson, yes. Yeah, she wrote down her story. It teaches you how to write stories, the journalizing. So what she did, she wrote down and then she published a book. It captures your family and personal stories. It With Jan, it captured her Jaffra story. Am I correct on that one? Right, right. Yeah, so it captured that story and it became very important to her and it let out what she had inside and she wanted to share that. It stimulates personal growth by showing patterns in our lives. Remember, I told you about the patterns of that gal that would came and she got a D minus because of all her kids were the problems. And 15, 17 years later, guess what? The same thing exactly was happening. There was a pattern in her life that it happened again and again and again. So, and we need, to, just, we need to wind up. So we need to. Okay, I'm done anyway. So oh. that's it. So journaling your thoughts and feelings, get out into paper will help you get, will help that bottled up anger. There oh, you, go. I love it. you might want to read some of the comments, Delan. All right. That was a great, Delan. That's one. Okay, here you go. This is the last one. By putting your thoughts into written word, you engage in pre creative process that allows your brains brainstorm effective solutions and explore new lines of thinking. Wow. Well, there you go. Every leader needs to listen to this training you just did. I mean, it, powerful. I'm going to tell you, I love this one. Loved it. Okay, July, let me have my screen back. Okay, let me get out of it. Give oh, it back to me. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so okay. now I'm going to go in here. Oh, I love that presentation. Okay, thank, thank you, Delan. That was so excellent. Okay, so we're going to just really quickly go through this. This is what we were going to talk about today, just a little bit, not much, because I've got this all for training for you. So an open house, this or that, okay? There's several ways that you can do an open house, but let me find my next page turner. We have an open house planning guide. So you guys, you can do your open house virtually. You can do your open house uh, actually, you know, live where they come to your home or you go to their ho somebody's home or whatever. But we have put together the most fabulous open house journal for you. It's put all together for you. It tells you just less. These are just skim through it. You look through it. I'm not going to read them all, but this is what's all in the open house. I don't know if you took the time to open it and to take a look at it, but you're going to definitely want to put it in your computer and put it under Christmas or Jaffra open houses, because this somebody has gone to a lot of work to do this. Okay. So again, it talks about who do you invite? 
where will you hold it? Who will you invite? Will it be online? Will you go live? Will you post every day? Blah, 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 blah. And the other thing is, there's some just all the kinds of things that this handout. So again, I'm going to post it again for you so you can actually see it um, and, and download it because it, it's just a great resource library for you. And I don't know, I know you probably all saw it, but I don't know if you took the time to open it. I don't know if you took the time, but I want you to save it because you're definitely going to want it for future uh, years that are coming. If you don't use it this year, well, at least get your mind thinking about an open house. And of course, Helen is the queen of Jaffra open houses. So um, Helen Wells, who's on right now. Okay, I am going to turn it over to Bronwyn. Uh, Bronwyn, just take hey, it. Jackie, off. I didn't get it. This is Sherry. I didn't get it. Okay, I'm going to put it on WhatsApp. If you don't have up WhatsApp, you're not going to get it. So it's okay. there, and I'll post it again, Sherry. Okay, I'm going to put it in again so that you have it. Okay, but I'm just going to tell you right now, uh, it'll be there. Okay, be there today. Okay, thanks. All right, there okay. you go. Okay, let's go on. I'm not going to talk about Canva unless we have some time at the end of this meeting. Okay, here we go. Take it away, Bronwyn. Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, we are in our final week of best deals for the month of November. And we're gonna start with deal number 10. So get your November book and go to page 60 and 61. We are now in the 45 percentile of our deals. And as you see across the top of the page, Jaffra had red tagged it. Any page you find red tagged in our books, they want your eye and attention to it. They're bringing your attention that this is new, save over 45%, shop more, save more. It's a bundle of joy. This deal again is 45% savings on our tender moments set. The retail value is $73 and the deal is for 39. This includes, so take your eye and go to the uh, left side of the page where they have photoed the double two pieces of the softening massage cream. Oh my, if you haven't tried this, you are missing a luxury item. Again, Tender Moment is not just for babies. You will love the products on your body. Oh, I'm gonna have to call you back. I'm in the middle of my Jaffa meeting, okay? It's the okay. softening massage cream is regular retail value of $21 each. So take your pen and write on the top lids of that $21.21. The cleansing hair body wash is $16. So the tallest tube in the center there, write $16 on it. These are giving you a visual as uh, to what the retail value is of the whole deal when you are talking to clients. The Delicate Baby Bottom Balm is $15. I'll let you know, this baby bottom balm can also be used as a nighttime hand lotion and put your white cotton gloves on or slather it on your feet. It will soften your feet in the morning when you cover that with some fluffy socks to go to bed. So there are multiple ways of using the baby bottom balm too. Okay, so that together is a $73 value. And right next to it shows you that the Tender Moment Baby Cologne is a purchase with purchase. And there is only one per deal. So they can select one of the four uh, Tender Moment fragrance and that retail value is $21. They get it for $11. If you have a client that is not taking advantage of the full deal for $11, purchase it and resell it. These are fabulous prices. The product catalog on page 248 and 249 gives you the details of the products as Jeffra has um, helped us along as to what to say and what is inside of the product. So you are selecting from four of the colognes, the one, two, four toddler, the fresh baby, mommy and me baby, and the beautiful. Remember, some of these 
fragrance colognes are not in our regular line. They are only promotional fragrances. So again, it's great for everyone, just not your baby. Clients, this is a five piece set, 39 and $11 is $50. And the retail value is 94 when you put that together. For consultants, a $50 set, 50% makes it $25 for a five piece set, averages to $5 each piece. Great deal. We are flipping the page over to uh, 62 and 63, this is a continuation of deal number 10, because this still goes into our tender moment. So flip the page, Vicki. All right. We are on page 62 and 63, and it says precious picks. And there is a red tab across the top. Shop more, save more. This is a Tender Moments Trio. Retail value is $49. This is offered to you for $27 at 45% saving. This includes the two, the one, two, four hair detangler. Let me tell you, it works on everybody's hair. Anybody's hair, easy. Okay, softening massage cream. Again, it's a fabulous. And I'll tell you, the size of this softening massage cream is more, more than our body complex. So it can be a little bit deceiving in the package, but you're getting more. And as you saw on the previous page, it said 20% more. Okay, this also includes the 124 toddler shampoo, a 4.2 fluid ounce. Retail value of that is $14. So write $14 on the shampoo. The detangler is $13. And again, the softening massage cream is $21. There was a little bit of confusion to me as I was going through this because I know that hair detangler is definitely 13. And I know that toddler shampoo is definitely 14. And the previous deal had the massage cream at 21. But when you add all that together, it's 48. And Jaffer had listed it at 49. So it's just a little bit confusion. Um, the purchase with purchase is baby cologne. Again, you have your choice of four. It's the same that was on the other page. Regular price is $21. So write $21 on each of those little ball tops of that fragrance. Again, it's a great visual when you're talking to clients and they can get that for $11, one per purchase. Clients say 45%, $27 with $11 makes the deal at $38 for a four-piece set. That is a $70 retail value. Consultant, $38, 50% off, $19. Oh my, this four-piece set is $19, which averages to $4.75 as an average price per piece. Great deal. We're moving to deal number 11, Vicki, and that is on page 35. So in your November book, flip it to page 35. 35. Sure somebody, excuse me, make sure you mute Emily for me. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Welcome, this, Emily. this is deal number 12. We're going to deal number 11, Vicki, on page oh. 35. Oh, okay. I thought we had done that. Thank you. Go. Oh. Okay, so that was still deal number 10. Do you have page five? Well, hold on. Let me just see. This is the one I, okay. thought I took from the book. Isn't this it? No. No. We have page 35. Let's just see. Did I do it the wrong place? Okay. So maybe we don't have that. I guess not. Okay. Darn. So then, then don't show anything. Or okay. just show me. Okay, so on page 35, we have already um, kind of reviewed this when Delaine had given a presentation on our foundation. Page 35 is the matte makeup duo that is a 45% saving. So this definitely is a best deal. Retail value is $36. The deal is for $19. You choose one pressed powder that gives you five color shades and the pressed powder i want you to take your pen and write 17 dollars right on that compact so that you have the visual that is 17 dollars which means 
that product is absolutely free for the price of the foundation. The foundation, the matte foundation, as you know, we have expanded the colors. These now offer 17 different color shades. It's a one fluid ounce for $19 retail value. I'll tell you, I challenge you to go find a quality um, matte foundation in stores for $19. You are not going to find prices like this. Um, your product catalog for the MAP Foundation is on page 94 and 95. For a client, this deal is a set 45% saving. It's a two-piece set for $19. Consultants for $19, 50%. It is $9.50 for a two-piece set. This is a great deal. It's a great time to stock up. And um, I'm not going to be talking about any more colors in deals for the month of November. But let me tell you, these color offers that Jeffer has put in this November book are fabulous. Absolutely fabulous for a fall and holiday look. Okay, Vicki, now deal number 12, page 14 and 15. So we're going to put that up and there we are. We are now in the 40% saving. Save over 40% has been red tagged on this double page. I love how Jaffra has displayed this together. The colors absolutely pop out. So this deal is a 61 retail value a trio for $34. And as you can see, when you go down the line, they have included all the Audi Rome's fragrances, the Splendor, Amour, the Original Fragrance Spray, the Ozone and the Sunshine. And in your product catalog on page 162 to 167 gives you the detail of what is inside these fragrances. Okay. They are fragrances. It's not an EDT, it's not an EDP, it's titled fragrance. So they will have less of essential oils, which means that you need to spray frequently to keep up the aroma scent. But I love the autoroms. I absolutely love the freshness of all of them. This deal also includes the body lotion, the body lotions is a 6.7 fluid ounce. Retail value is $20. By the way, the Audi Roams, the size is a 3.3 fluid ounce. So these are like bonus size fragrances and it's, they're $31 each. So on your fragrance bottles, $31 each. On your body lotion tubes, they are $20 each of retail value. And then of course we have the minis. The minis complete the set all five fragrances are featured there. They are retail value of $10 each. This is a great trio. Clients save 40%, three piece set for $34 and consultants at 50% off, you're getting the deal for $17. A three piece set averages to $5.66 average price. This is a fabulous deal. Um, I can't say any more about it. It's well pictured and it's well done. Okay, we are now going to our highlight number four. Now, highlights we have been doing all month long. We started with the Giftorium and we have covered all of Jeffrey's Giftorium. Uh, as you know, on our November catalog, they had very large printed Giptorium. So we've covered that for the last three weeks. If you missed it, you need to hear the replays if you want to know what the Giptoriums are all about. We're highlighting this because it is new and limited time. This is on page uh, eight and nine in your November catalog. They call it the Urban Inn energy all over body spray, say 25% for $12 each. Again, new limited time world tours adventure in freshness. I love that Jaffra has offered a scratch and discover on each of them. So the viewing that you see 
right now that Vicki have posted does not show that they are Scratch and Discover, but in your November catalog, Scratch and Discovers are where you take a, um, a coin or even your fingernail and you scratch the circle and you get a scent of the aroma of each of those fragrances. Now, the fragrances are titled New York, Tokyo, and Barcelona. These are a 4.2 fluid ounce. Retail value is $16 each. And saving 25%, they are $12 each. For clients, you know, I would suggest to sell a three-piece set for $36. We learned that in Girl Scouts, when we talked about cookies, we wanted people to spend $20 and we would say they're four for $20. So people would buy more. They were $5 each, $5 each sounded a lot. But when you said four for $20, people took that $20 and you didn't have to give them change. That's what we taught in Girl Scouts, how to sell cookies. So this, I want to teach you. It is three for $36. And now they have three different gifts that they can offer. A gift to every golfer can put this in their golf bag. And when they're done golfing, just give a scent and they feel refreshed. Consultants, $12 each at 50% off makes us $6. But you want to buy three of them. Three for $36 gives you $18 is the three-piece set. So again, these are great stocking stuffers. These are limited time. I have no idea what Jopper intends to do with them in the future. So you need to stock up now. And that's our highlight number four. And as you heard, Vicki has said that next week we're not meeting. So that means that December is our rush final month, December 4th. We will highlight the, the, the December catalog, but don't forget to tune in on December 1st to Jaffra. Jaffra Business Zoom meeting will give you also the highlight of the December book. So we are on going towards the end of the year. So exciting on uh, my uh, December catalog are on the way. And I hope Jaffra has sent them all on the way to all of us so that we can be prepared and ready to end this holiday season. So see you next time. You're not done yet, Bronwyn. You're not I'm done not yet. Done. Okay. Here we okay. Go. You're not done yet. <laughs> okay. So this pre-Black Friday ended yesterday. It oh, did. it ended yesterday. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. You know what? I really wish they kept it for the weekend, but oh, Jackie Geisinger, she had went ahead and put out a verbal message yesterday as a reminder that one of the pre-Fridays were uh, ending on Friday. I and then we that. have this I, one. It didn't have yes. a date on it. So I tried to look this morning, didn't have a date That's on it. But this one, this is the last day for this one. Yes, and I'll tell you, there is so much that is going on right now. It's a oh little overwhelming. <laughs> so we, need, we as consultants need to really pay attention when these notices come out, because if we're thinking it's overwhelming, the consultants and everyone else is overwhelmed. So we need to have it together so that we know how to uh, present it to our consultants so they can present it to clients. These are great offerings. Again, very limited time. And oh, these spa candles, $18 each. There was a question as to, are these still high priced? Absolutely not. These spa candles are quality candles and the scents and aromas of these is just fabulous. This is a very calming and soothing scent and you don't want to light it in a large room. You wanna light it where in a smaller room, um, a, a bathroom when you're taking that special shower or bath and to use those uh, ginger seaweed products along with it. So the spa candles, again, were to the 25th. The first slide that Vicki has showed was just to the 20th. So we, again, we need to keep track of when these deals begin and end. 
Thank you so much, Bronwyn. That was great. It was so it was so good. All right. So basically, <clears throat> I was going to do a presentation today, but it was going to talk about Canva. So because of the time, um, I'm still going to do it. But for those of you that stay on, we're going to talk about Canva. So before we end, I'm just going to tell you, Canva is a free uh, program. You just have to go in and put canva.com. It'll come up. And it's magical for me. You know, I used to work on publisher. I used to work on, um, well, basically Microsoft publisher, which, you know, is really, it's kind of over for Microsoft publisher and the, the price is high unless you have office. But anyways, I just found that for me, Canva is powerful. I, and Christmas is coming. So people aren't sending Christmas cards as much. The price is exorbitant with the post office. And so email is going to be your preferred way, email and texting. And Canva is great. The designs are absolutely magical. And you can actually go in and do your Christmas card. You can do a personal message and you can put it on a, a text. And when you do it on a text, it just comes through beautiful on the phone. And so you could have so much fun using Canva to make your communication for Christmas magical, I promise you. So I'm going to come back here and I'm gonna stop the share. And this was a great call. I loved it. I just did, I don't know why, but this was a great call. I loved it, I guess I, needed to be reminded about how important journaling is. And I'm so grateful we have Delan. You know, she does teach at the college. And so she's got all these magical things on her computer. So thank you for finding one for us this morning, Delan. And uh, I want to remind all of you that on Thursday nights, if you're a consultant, you were invited to be on our consultant meeting. It is on Thursdays and it is at four o'clock Pacific time. And we have a lot of fun there. Again, it's for Jaffa Consultants. It's on my WhatsApp. I post it there every week to remind you. I also post it on my Facebook group. And we wanna thank all of you that are on with us today on Facebook or watching the recording on Facebook. We will be putting this recording on my WhatsApp team and also on uh, Evelyn and uh, the Golden purple teams. So on WhatsApp. So again, I want to thank all of you that are with us on Facebook. For those of you that are staying today, I will talk about Canva. <laughs> I'm going to get that in. So if you want to stay and learn about Canva and why it's going to make your Christmas more uh, magical, then stay on and let's just chat about it. Okay, so right now I am going to stop the live stream on Facebook. And I'm also going to stop the recording. Glad you could watch us today. Join us live on Saturdays. We'd love to have you. And.